Okay, sorry about that. Three minutes in, no audio. All right. Clap, clap, clap. That's kind of infuriating. All right, well, welcome back, guys, to Reddit. Mildly infuriating what we'll be doing today. So let's uh, just go ahead and jump right into it, shall we? Coworkers who do this to my dry erase markers. Brand new ultra fine dry erase marker. Two week old ultra fine marker. Ugh, I hate that. Why? Why you got to put so much pressure on that? Delicate. Be delicate with it. Otherwise, you just might as well be using one of those large expo markers or whatever. Like, why you do that? Look how fine this edge is. Look how fine that is. And then people just have to fucking be on the paper right there apply all their freaking pressure on a marker <laughs> i don't understand it i just don't our toilet seat broke so the landlady sent us a new one and ignored our request for it to be square oh <laughs> you got some uh i mean it's got ventilation i guess i don't know <laughs> He's got airflow. I don't know if you need airflow in a toilet. That is kind of weird. Ignore me, but that is that that is unfortunate. Why? Why is your toilet square? Anyways, I have never seen a square toilet. Not once in my life. Why is it square? I have questions and I need answers. <laughs> Moving on. We've had this home sign for seven years. New friend comes over and points out. It actually says Haim. Oh, I mean, if you're going to be nitpicky about it, I guess. But wouldn't the swoop go down a little bit more and touch where the bottom of the um, A is? I don't know. That's just me. That still says home to me. It does really suck that your friend pointed that out, that it could also be red Haim. <laughs> so I guess that's where the frustration lies. But still, if you're going to be nitpicky about it, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Not even the garden spinners are safe anymore. My guy, are you good? How down bad in life do you have to be to look at a garden spinner and just be like, yo, I'm gonna steal it because that's gonna get me like five cents. I need that five cents. About to make bank with this garden spinner right here. Dudes probably have a whole collection of garden spinners that he just plucked out of people's yards just for the hell of it. And is this on Halloween too? I thought I saw some like trick or treating or some shit. No, they're not trick or treating. Okay. I thought I saw a bag in the kid's hand. That's why I asked, but why are you taking the garden spinner? How down bad in life you gotta be? Do you really need that five cents? I thought I bought sour Skittles. What? all lime skittles they sell them in individual flavors excuse me bro where are the fucking cherry ones at because those are good <laughs> like why do they have individual flavors i don't know that is very strange okay moving on still don't have alaska statehood commemorative quarter collection Got all of them but Alaska, huh? Well, I mean, I don't see that as mildly infuriating for me personally. I guess it could be mildly infuriating to somebody who wants to collect all the coins. But uh, I don't know. That's just me. That's just kind of, you know, it's an incomplete collection. You have your entire life to get that last one. And when you do get that last one, it'll be uh, a good memory. I don't know. When a kid has to clean up after a grown up. Okay. Angry sportsman with the tennis. And then the kid comes along, picks up the can. I mean, yeah, maybe just don't be a shit human being and pick up after yourself. I understand you're frustrated, but goddamn, that is bad sportsmanship. And I hope you lost, sir. I don't even know who you are but I hope you lost finding Nemo. I have this finding Nemo plate and I realized that Nemo isn't on it. It's just two Marlins. Oh my God. 
Oh, if Disney sold this, they should be ashamed because, oh my God, that is absolutely ridiculous. How do you fuck that up? How do you fuck that up? One of your biggest movies and you put two Marlins on no Nemo. Where's Nemo? What'd you do to Nemo? How dare? How fucking dare? I mean, seriously, why? Just fucking why? Five ring questions. The nation's chief diplomat and commander in correct president. Okay. Uh, okay, so the wrong answer is what we're looking at. Uh, political efficiency described as what? You said your vote counts. Answer your vote. Okay, this is where the computer is actually incorrect because that is the wrong your in the sentence that is supposedly the correct answer. Like what the fuck? This is some software gore shit, as well as mildly infuriating. Good Lord. Having to use all my fans and constant ice packs just to keep my fish from cooking in the heat wave. Okay, wow. God damn. That's bad. Holy shit. I wonder how hot it is there. I don't know where you live, sir, but Jesus. If you have to do all that just to keep your fish from boiling alive. God damn. That sucks, man. And dangerous virus. I'm disappointed. 2011, the world's gonna end next year. Like, probably. Because of something with the Mayans people freaking out 2019 there is scientific proof that global warming is rapidly destroying life as we know it and we need change fast people lol okay <laughs> i mean that does really suck like honest honestly just let's be good to the planet that we live on let's take care of this giant rock floating through space that keeps us alive that gave us a home and is letting us, you know, be here. Let's just, let's just take care of it. Like, come on, it's not that hard. Gotta love it. No better way to celebrate 4th of July than illegally setting off fireworks at 1020 at night on July 3rd. <laughs> American assholes. I mean, true, but I also live in Utah, which we have two 4th of Julys. We have the 4th and the 24th. So basically the entire month of July, people are allowed to set off fireworks. So I don't know, <laughs> it's, it's pretty strange and it's pretty dry where I live too. So not the best. Someone in the audience shined a laser into Casper Schmeichel's eyes to try and distract him from the game. I can't listen to audio don't, for fear of being copywritten, but Wow, what a fucking dick. He still got it. Did he? I don't know. Did they kick it back in? Ah, uh, I don't know if he actually was successful in blocking the goal. That would have been so nice. Like, fuck you, guy who's shining the laser in my eyes. I still got the ball. Jack's films having to private a video due to the mass amount of comments weight shaming his wife, Aaron. I privated yesterday's Jack ask because Aaron asked me to after seeing comments about her weight. Why anyone would say that as though we don't read the comments is beyond me. You made my wife cry. Great fucking job. Please unsub, unfollow, whatever. We don't want you. Damn, I'm sorry, Jack. Holy shit. That fucking sucks. Why are people assholes? Like for real though, why are human beings trash? Oh my God, I will never understand that. Just like let people live their lives the way they want to, be who they want to be, and just don't shame anybody for anything. Wait or not, everything in general, just don't shame people. Don't be an asshole. This guy house walls getting hit by a car accident two times in four days. What even was that sentence? Ooh, yikes. Oh no, not another one. This is a separate instance. Oh my God, this dude lives on the worst fucking corner. Why are people idiots when they drive? <laughs> 
Is this dude really driving away? Are you really? You better not be just driving away. Oh my god. Just like, ah, uh, that guy is so unlucky. He lives on the worst corner of ever. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that will do it for Mildly Infuriating. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you want to, and uh, maybe share the video around. Again, thanks for watching the video, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Yeah. Love you from the first time you call me late. Love you for your wits and your wicked games. Uh, yeah. Always on my mind, always in my brain. We do this on my game and win in a day And I've been craving you since the first time that I sat by you